Good morning, everyone. I'm Nick, and you're watching Smoky Bees Natural. We are at the Cumberland Gap National Park. I'm with my two buddies, Samuel, Chad, Bluegrass Backcountry Music, and Beyond the Campfire. So we're going to do an overnight trip along the Ridge Trail. We're going to see some wonderful views and have a great time. Yes. See you down the trail. Figured I'd talk a little bit about our plans. Uh, we've already started off with a little hiccup uh, when we got to the park ranger station to uh, sign in and get our permits for the trip. Uh, we wanted to start at the Pinnacle Overlooks. And of course the closed <laughs> road is covered in ice and snow. So we're uh, having to start a little further down the mountain than we wanted to. So. Got a nice climb, but we're gonna earn that overlook at the Pinnacles. Um, we're planning on roughly a 14 mile day. We're going to uh, head up to the Hensley Settlement. It's a historical settlement up on top of the mountain. And if we got time, we'll go check out all the cabins and such, but we're gonna camp there for the night, get up in the morning with possibly some snow, and then uh, head our way down towards uh, Sand Cave. Check that out before we finish. So we'll see you at the top. Here we are at the Pinnacles at Cumberland Gap. It's an absolutely beautiful view out here. Uh, we met some guys up here, we're talking to them, and they said that you can even see the Smokies here. You can see way back behind me. I'll uh, put up another view of it, but you can actually see Mount LeConte and uh, Clemens Dome from here, and that's on the opposite side of Tennessee almost. Or, well, almost. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty cool. That, we can see that far. Awesome. All right. The pinnacles of Cumberland Gap are amazing. And now we're finally starting the trail. <laughs> After a mile and three quarters straight up the mountain that we weren't planning on, made uh, that view even more exciting. But now that that's over, we're finally on trail and we're heading out to uh, the homestead. And depending on the time frame, we either see it tonight or we'll see it in the morning. So we'll see you down the trail. These hills are no joke. They're wearing me out. But Check that out. That's just so cool. <laughs> All right, we finally stopped for lunch, and how fitting, Table Rock. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. This is wicked cool. 
<laughs> Dang. Lunch is over. It got a little colder. <laughs> but our spirits are high. I think Samuel said we got about six and a half more miles to camp, so really hoping we can get there before dark time. If we do, maybe we'll have time to check out the Hensley settlement before the sun goes down. Oh, wow. That is, and Brock is huge. Dang. There's just rock features all over. Huh. past several miles we just been trudging through snow it's absolutely beautiful out here peaceful and quiet the only thing out here is our mouths are yabbering <laughs> man this snow is deep giant rock it's a little dry under there it's tempting just to build a camp spot right underneath it oh. icicles are beautiful all right we're getting close to the uh, Hensley settlement I think we're about another mile and a half to camp uh, we get us some water but the problem is I don't know if you can tell, but that is straight up. Ugh. I'm beat and I'm ready for camp. That's one huge rock. Oh. Look at these poor saps trying to get down up the hill. <laughs> hey, one thing. <laughs> You better watch where you're walking. Keep your head up. <laughs> yeah, look at that pile. That is wild. Well, we finally made it to the Hensley settlement. Looks awfully eerie and quiet. But beautiful as well. I believe this is the spring house. See some water coming out of it, so I think this is where we're getting our water. It goes without saying. Finally made it home. I think there's a, a couple people here already. So uh, maybe we'll have someone else to chat with tonight. Oh, it's almost dark. <laughs> you said building a fire in the winter is tough. <laughs> Samuel and I are cutting stuff up. Chad's the master at the flame. It's gonna be a good night. Everybody. Man, last night was a crazy, crazy adventure. <laughs> oh, a storm, a winter storm came through. 
Uh, I think we've got at least 8 to 12 inches of snow last night. I spent a lot of the night just uh, knocking snow off my tent. And at one point, it even caved my tent in. <laughs> and that was scary. Oh, but it's absolutely beautiful this morning. Oh, it's, I don't know, it's so quiet and peaceful. But anyway, I'm going to get some coffee and some breakfast and uh, get back on the trail. Got my coffee going. Now I'm melting snow for water because uh, <laughs> there's no water around here for miles. Now I've got less than a liter to get me to the end of the day. So interesting little trick. Well, we're all wrapped up. We're just socked in by a icy snowy cloud. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, the amount of snow we got last night was amazing. Uh, now that I got that coffee in me, I'll explain a little better about my little fiasco last night. So, I don't know, after we went to bed, it just started snowing like crazy. So, uh, every once in a while, you'd have to wake up, bang all the snow off the top of your tent, and, uh, well... <laughs> Eventually, my tent stakes got loose, and uh, sometime in the middle of the night, I woke up to one side of my tent just literally laying down on top of me. So that was uh, pretty scary, but I uh, calmed down, take you know, took a moment, and collected myself and got out quick and fixed it. But man, that was a wild ride. <laughs> anyway, let's uh get the thoughts of last night from the other guys. Samuel? Overall wasn't too bad. I got a wake up call about three in the morning from Nick over here banging on my tent. And I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> taking the snow off of it. Helping a brother was, out. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> it. But yeah, my two person tent turned into a one person tent very quickly because snow was just caving the walls in. It's <laughs> unbelievable experience. Can't yeah. believe it. Chad? Well, I stayed warm at least, so I could say that, but right. I was up half the night uh, knocking snow off my tent, and I was just worried that something was going wrong. At, at one point, I don't know, two in the morning or something, I heard my tent poles flexing and making sound. It sounded like they were going to snap. Ooh, <laughs> wow. And after that, it was like every time I heard a sound, I was wide awake and my <laughs> heart was pounding. And, uh, it was crazy. Yeah. It was beautiful, though. Heck yeah. Well, we expected uh, lows in the 20s. I don't think, it, I mean, it did get down to maybe 27 last night, but uh, all that snow, I think, um, insulated us pretty good. So I slept real nice and toasty when I did sleep. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go in and uh, we'll see you down the trail. scenery out here is absolutely beautiful. So great. Good job, buddy. I just can't say enough about the landscape here. It's been a slow trudge down the mountain post holing and everything but man is it beautiful we were talking like how we felt like we were kids <laughs> on a school snow day look at the size of that rock that thing is huge oh all that snow all over it absolutely gorgeous It has been a steady trudge up the mountain. 
it is wearing me out. Check this out. <laughs> well this is a good site for sore eyes we're almost a sand cave we've been on trail for about three hours and we've only done just over four miles this trail is whooping my butt This is absolutely breathtaking. Check out those icicles. <laughs> Man, those things are probably 20 feet long. Wow. Look at a tiny little Samuel down there. <laughs> Sand Cave is probably one of the most epic things I've ever seen. Oh, as tough as this hike has been, this is absolutely worth it. Just talking about how we're starting to finally see some blue skies. You can just barely see the sun. <laughs> Oh, man, is this place ever so beautiful. Oh my, my, oh, that is absolutely beautiful.
All right, well, we're on our uh, last mile of our three mile descent from the mountain. I uh, just wanted to wrap things up here. 25 miles on the Cumberland Mountain, all the way from the Cumberland Gap to the White Rocks. What an epic weekend, beautiful sights, weathering a winter storm. I couldn't imagine doing it with anybody else than these two guys. Samuel, my trail bro, and my buddy Chad. Be sure to check out their channels. I'll uh, link them down in the bottom. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, don't forget to support your local beekeeper.